Hey guys, Dewey here, the man behind Inventabot, the Inventabot guy here. Um, first tutorial is going to be about the metal frame, how to make the cuts. We're going to go through that. I'm going to do an overview of the SKP file just to show you the cuts and how to take the measurements. Uh, just a couple things, some questions some of you had. Uh, type of metal. What I used was a 15 ga uh, 14 gauge, 1.5 millimeters thick, 2.5 inch square steel tube. Um, I bought a four foot section of it. That should be more than enough for the frame and the hothead bracket. Uh, you could also use aluminum um, if you have the money for it. I think I paid $15 for the steel frame. Aluminum is going it's gonna to be about maybe $30, $32. Um, it's going to be a lot lighter if you use aluminum. A lot easier to make the cuts and drill the holes with aluminum. Uh, accuracy. Um, you know, I just use the power drill and the jigsaw. You don't need a plasma cutter or nothing like that. Uh, plastic. Now, for some of you that don't have access to a 3D printer, uh, this is the urethane plastic that I was talking about. It's, uh, it's a two-part part, one-to-one -one ratio. Hopefully, I can make some molds. It's a very rigid plastic, and it's actually, you know, it's not a plastic that snaps and bends. So, what I did was make a rubber mold the mold together for the urethane plastic in it takes about 10 minute curing time once it comes this is actually the mold for this part here it goes in like that but it's uh i think it's an ideal material for the parts for the plastic parts for the 3d printer um all right let's go on to the skp file Alright guys, here's a Google SketchUp. It's a free software by Google. Just go to google.com and do a search for Google SketchUp download. You should be able to find it with no problem. We're just going to go through the cuts that we're going to need to make. Um, there's going to be these two pie cuts here to make the 90 bend, 90 degree bend. This other one pie to make the 90 degree bend. Rectangular cut, rectangular cut up here and another one down here this is for the motherboard tray um i'm going to show you how to take measurements all right i say you want to measure that this uh circle here what i do is i just cover it cover the hole up with the pencil just like that uh, you can take the diameter of the hole just by one edge to the other, to the other, it's uh, 10 millimeters in diameter. Uh, to get to take the other measurement, you're gonna go to the center of the hole. It's gonna state that it's you know the blue dot's gonna show up and it's gonna say center. So you're gonna bring it to your left, and it shows it's 260 millimeters. Now it's gonna have to be either the line's gonna have to be green, red, or blue to be parallel with this axis. Uh, you don't want to take the measurement like this. It's uneven, 267.8 millimeters, which is not correct. It has to be that, 267. Um, another thing is tapping. That's not necessary. All you need is just a couple bolts. Uh, you guys are smart people. Pretty sure you guys figure that out easily. It's the metal frame. Alright guys, uh, tutorial on how to make the cuts for the metal frame. Let me see. Give me one second. Hold on. See where the middle is there. Okay. Uh, tutorial on how to make the cuts for the metal frame. Um, we're going to go over the hardest cut first, which is this pie cut here that I showed you earlier on the SKP file. What I did was uh, there was four holes that I had to drill. I drilled a hole here. Drilled a hole here, drilled a hole here, and drilled a hole here. Uh, after you drill the hole, this is a jigsaw. This is what it looks like. Use a metal blade. Uh, just stick your bit right into the hole. The hole is going to have to be big enough for the blade to actually fit in the hole. Once you put it in the hole, just go this way with it and this way with it. And we also have another two here. We're going to go this way, turn it around. Go the other way. So this is 
just going to be fully cut. What you're going to do, you're also going to pick up the jigsaw and cut it back this way just to finish off that corner. This piece here, back here, stays intact. Don't cut that. So we have this cut from this hole here. We went this way, that way, and then back this way just to finish the corner. Corner. Um, we also have a hole here, hole here. We go this way with the jigsaw, this way with the jigsaw, this way with the jigsaw, this way with the jigsaw. So this should be cut, this should be cut, this should be cut, this should be cut. Uh, same thing on the other side. We have a hole here. Just go this way with the jigsaw, this way with the jigsaw, and then back this way just to finish the corner. Keep this intact. We're going to need that. After this whole piece comes off, you should be able just to make that bend, and it should be a perfect 90 degrees for you. Uh, how to make a quick, the quick measurement. What you're going to do is from the corner of the bend there, you're going to go directly square across from there. Well, this is only a two inch square piece of tube. Uh, it's supposed to be two and a half inch, but if it was two and a half inch, we'll go directly square across. Uh, from there, we're going to go two and a half inch down, two and a half inch up. That's how you're going to get your angle for that. Um, rectangular cut. What I did, I want to show you my client's credit card number there. Um, what I did was drill the hole here and drill the hole over here. Uh, from there, let's start with this hole. We're going to go this way, come back this way just to finish off the corner. Go up this way, come back to finish off this corner. From this hole, we're going to go down, back to finish the corner, and this way, back to finish the corner. Simple. This should fall right out. Now for the oval, uh, I believe it's 8 millimeters, an 8 millimeter bit that I used, or you can use a 5 16th. It's a 5 16th bolt that goes in there. It's, uh, it actually holds a bearing to tighten the belt for the x-axis. You're going to drill a hole down here at the end of the oval, and at the other end you're going to drill a hole, and then with the jigsaw stick it in the hole, and just go up and up. That oval piece should fall right off. And, um, yep, I think that's it. If you have any questions, uh, send me an email, post it on Facebook, Thingiverse. I'm usually, give me about 24 hours, and I should have a response for you.